Greetings YouTube and Temple of the Adversarial Forge, Palm here. Uh, had a Forge member ask a question in regard to the evil genius or the daemon. I'm not going to really get into the specific question. I mean, because it may be personal for that person. But I'm going to talk a little bit about what the daemon is from my subjective experience and then also my approach to working with it because it is by no means traditional now there's going to be some debate in regard to what the daemon is some people do believe that it is an outside objective force which guides you throughout your life all right Others be it as others see it as um, a higher consciousness, and these types of people who perceive it this way will call it the evil genius. Now, from my own experience, this is going to sound strange. But the daemon really isn't about gaining communion directly with any force. It's not really about adding anything to your life or taking anything in. From my experience, communion with the daemon is actually the removal of hindrances in regard to your perception to knowledge and wisdom. It is that intermediary, that force, you know, when you're uh, reading a grimoire and then all of a sudden you're picking ciphers out of 15 different books and all of a sudden you've got this powerful magical working sitting in front of you. It is that force which will cause you to instinctually ask the right questions and at the same time will enable you to basically snatch the answers to those questions out of the aether. Now a lot of people will say that communication with the daemon happens as a byproduct or result of the great work itself and this is true. It can happen in this way, but it does not have to. <laughs> I have had communion with a evil genius for a long time now. And I have had Thelemites try and chastise me, saying that I was a neophyte, there's no way that uh, I had communion with the Holy Guardian Angel. And I basically told them that they're not working hard enough. <laughs> but, um, look, there's a lot of people out there waiting for this force to come to them, the daemon. There's a lot of people within magical lodges waiting for the mages to take them by the hand and introduce them to the daemon. It's not going to work like that. Now, here's a way that you can expedite this process, okay? Now, I did this already having communion with the daemon, however. It was given to me as a means to expedite the process for folks that have yet to make communion or have communion. And it's really very simple. Um, you see, a lot of people 
have a hard time communicating with the daemon because they are so used to being given grimoire descriptions of other entities that they, they, they don't know what they're looking for. You know, what does a daemon look like? So, if you really want to expedite the process, you first give it form, artistically. Now, I have one particular student who has um, painted the image of the daemon, and he integrated his own blood and sexual fluid as a... Offering of life force energy, I guess, to house the spirit within the painting. I have drawn it and framed it in its own particular dwelling, I suppose. Um, the drawing is very symbolic. Now, as my work progressed, working with the daemon, more and more fetish items started to accumulate on the altar. I've got everything from vases to stones to a, a specific set of runes that I made as an offering. So you want to create this thing art archetypically, okay, so you can kind of connect to it. Now, if you're not an artist, do not limit yourself. The first step to communion with the daemon is learning how to think outside the box. If you can't draw, you can't paint, if you can't sculpt, create a collage. Print out pictures of different animals online, okay? Um, do it at different scale sizes until you can paste something together that looks pleasing to you as a representation of the higher self. You know, uh, figure it out. If you want to, you can buy statues and things of that nature. But Instinctively, I know that if you create it yourself, it's going to be a lot more potent. It's going to be something that no one else has ever seen before. And it's not something that anyone else should see. Um, like I said, I drew the daemon. And then, years later, a statue of that drawing manifested in the occult show. Uh, it was actually this time last year. But that's the first part. Then you're going to create a name. Okay, I recommend doing this sigillically. Uh, you want to create a sigillic name. In other words, a statement of intent. Um, or purpose. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Let me just give you one. Uh, vampiric demon who drains the energy from enemies. You take out the vowels and the double consonants and blah, 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 blah. He makes the words around until you have a cool name. Um, that was kind of lame excuse, but you get the point. Then you're going to create a sigil in the same fashion. Now, Here's the hard part. 
the hard part is going to be dedicating the time necessary to give this thing form and function on the etheric plane. You're going to cast your circle. You're going to put this image or this idol of the daemon in the center of the circle. You're going to burn candles as an offering. You're going to burn incense as an offering. You're going to spill your blood on the sigil as an offering. And then you want to spend time actually becoming this daemon. Becoming this image in front of you, okay? Um, it's a process of shape-shifting, I suppose. But you are basically going to become this image. And focus on the entity's purpose. This needs to be done for extended period of time. I'm talking like 10 to 12 hours. Being that it's later in my occult career, I would also suggest putting magnets at the four corners around the image. That's one element I would add if I were to go back and do this again. Now, after a certain period of time, <coughs> you're going to know when this thing is successfully created. Okay? And your goal is to make offerings of blood fumigation and libation daily for at least a moon phase. Now there's going to be a point in time where all of a sudden this invocation is going to start to come out. You're going to get this inspiration to write the invocation of the evil genius or the daemon and write it because that's your first communion. That is the first communion. And what you're going to find is because you created the demon, you took the initiative to do that. Instead of waiting, it's going to feed you. You're going to be creating each other. And it's going to be a constant process. Oh, Got portals and shit opening up, excuse me. It's going to be a constant process of creation and destruction of self. Um, you're going to find that as you're first initially making offerings to this idol image, that you are also making offerings to self you're going to feel very, very empowered. Now the secret to moving forward with this relationship with the holy guardian angel, daemon, or evil genius is that invocation. 
that needs to be the preparatory right of all preparatory rights. If you don't cast a circle, you will invoke the daemon. This is going to keep feeding it. This is going to keep it strong. As an astral force, it's going to be present and within you. So it's going to more easily align with the entities that you summon. It's going to be this... uh, transference of power and what you're going to find is that you'll begin to uh, start asking the right questions you're going to start snatching answers out of the aether the inspiration you receive in your occult work is going to be catapulted beyond the plateaus that you've hit This is effective, guys. Uh, So give it a shot. Don't sit around and wait. Take some initiative. Um, If you want the specific ritual that I used, I don't know, ask me for it. I'll get it to you. It may take me some time because I have to type it out. But I will say that it's very uh, mm, pantheon-specific, I guess. So it's not going to be applicable for everybody. However, it can be used as a template to help you create something of your own that you can use. Okay, well, that's my little spiel on the demon or the daemon, what it is and how to commune with it. I hope this helps. Um, Infernal blessings. You folks have a wonderful, wonderful Satan mass. Devour, destroy, become or be crushed. Palm signing out.